Hey everybody, this is Grace. In this video, I'm going to talk about a little bit about little things, okay? But, well, actually I want to talk about is when a person, you know, narcissistic histrionic type people. And in my life, that's what I've seen. I've said this in video after video, but this is a new video, so maybe nobody, maybe the person watching hasn't watched any of the other ones. But, um, these are people that I've seen all my life, pretty much, well, all my life. Um, they have both narcissistic behaviors and histrionic behaviors. You know, histrionic behaviors or narcissists, they're not gender specific. And, you know, some people think narcissists are just men and histrionics are just women. No, that is not the case. It can be either. And, uh, and I've known some that have that, this kind of blend of behavior. For some of them, they are rather sadistic too. And, um, they, they just, the ones that I know, this is what I'm talking about, I'm not talking about all of them in the whole world, no, just the ones I know. Um, they have this thing, you know, besides the whole thing of always wanting to be the center of attention, being very loud, with their dress, their voice, their laughter, it's a big cackle, um, you know, they wear a lot of bling and... And, it, you know, people can do that, as I've said in videos, you know. I'm not trying to offend, offend anybody who likes to wear a lot of jewelry. That's your business, but there's a purpose. Where the purpose of, these, you know, people who are more histrionic is different than just, you know, the average person. You know, they, they want to be the center of attention. They don't care how they get it. And the, if anybody else has it, they can be really horrible people. Okay, and then there's a whole bunch of videos on my channel you can watch about that. But, in this one, I want to talk about when they do not want to follow the rules on anything. You know, they, you know, like what's going on in the world today, this is October 2020. Um, the people I know, you know, who are like this, they tend to think that nothing is going to touch them. This uh, coronavirus is you know, is not going to touch them. They're around my age, and uh, they're not in the best of health. That makes them in a, you know, more vulnerable class. And they just, you know, the only kind of rule they would follow is if they can't do anything unless they, they do follow the rules. You know, like get on an airplane, they have to wear a mask. That's the only times they're going to wear their mask is when they're getting on an airplane or somebody, you know, basically. You can't go anywhere unless you do this. You see, like that. They just won't follow the rules. <laughs> the rules are not for them. You know how, like, have you ever been in a car with somebody that, like, maybe the first time, and they are just all over the place. They don't stop for stop signs. They just kind of look, see if anybody's coming. They just keep going. And they don't follow the speed limit or any of that. They tailgate, uh, get too close to somebody, you know, basically almost push them off the road to get in the lane you know they, they don't believe in any uh, rule you know any rules apply to them and uh yeah i do know that type yeah pardon the way i'm doing the video but it is what it is today <laughs> sometimes i do my videos like this it's too no noisy in the house and sometimes i do it while i'm driving or been doing them for years but anyway um like I was saying, you know, not, to them, nothing applies to them. No, no kind of rule or law or social contract, even. You know, like, um, you have a certain way that, you know, socially, you know, what is socially acceptable? You don't, usually, what I have, I have actually been through this. You go to a restaurant with one of these people who have histrionic behaviors. I'm not diagnosing anybody. I'm talking about behaviors. And... Uh, it's, it's a woman and she's, you know, say in her 30s, 40s, whatever. Her dress is very inappropriate, as in very suggestive, very... And she's overall kind of provocative. And uh, just like I said, a lot of wild hair and everything. Just really loud. You know, her, and then you sit down and her, her voice is loud. Her laugh is loud. And she wants everybody in the restaurant to know she is there. Okay. Social rules do not apply to her, and she, they just she wouldn't even think about it. The ones that I knew, you know. And if you say something, it's like 
Yeah, you're just a mini mouse. Are you just you just always worry too too much what other people think? <laughs> this kind of thing. Seriously, you know, it's not them. No, 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 no. To them, it's never them. They're never wrong. And then you can point out that everybody else in the restaurant isn't acting like them. Everybody else, and to them, everybody else in the re the restaurant is wrong. Okay, and uh, then the same thing that, that they do in dating. Um, you know, they they might even try to steal your boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever it is. Um, you know, whatever's the case, and because th these kinds of rules, these social contracts, these social rules, do not to them apply to them. You know, do they think that it do they apply to everybody else? I don't think they care. Honestly, I don't think they process beyond their own noses. The ones I know. Okay. But yeah, rules don't apply to them. And I I have done videos about you know, I've done videos about people who you know, histrionic narcissistic histrionic people. And on one I have more than one cha YouTube channel. One of them I talk about these two women. Um I, I nicknamed them I never give real names. Annie and Mary. And they're my age. I've known them pretty much my whole life. Um, and they're like this, and they do things, okay, that, you know, a, a person wouldn't do, I would think, per, a person who is thinking about themselves and or others, you know, like they go on vacations and, like I said, you know, said that about the wearing the mask only on the airplane, otherwise they take them off, they're my age, okay, I'm 57, and they, they're hugging people and all this and it's like if they had this coronavirus, they would be spreading it from person to person. Because, you know, not everybody shows symptoms. They can be asymptomatic. And uh, they just, they push, you know, because to them, it, it, it's a hype, it's a hoax, you know, that, that kind of people. Oh, disgusting to me. Um, but, you, you know, still, I've known them this long. There is this, you know, I, I'm a person who feels empathy. You know, they, they don't tend to. For maybe a second, and then it got to turn it back around on them. They have to be that center of attention. But um, you know, knowing that that I, I really do feel like with all their 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 behaviors, their, their types of behaviors like that, I really, you know. Okay, I had to pause there for a second. But I, I really worry that one day I'm going to get that phone call. You know that something they have done. So, you know, one or both um, has caused one of them to uh, something, some serious danger or more or worse. Or both of them. You know, some people, you know, they say that, and I've seen it, uh, people call them Thelma and Louise. Well, that story doesn't end that great now, does it? Not that I remember. But for, you know, supposed grown ups. You know, to to behave in that kind of way, that kind of fashion, to not be examples of how people should live. Um, you know, not driving like crazy maniacs, not um, you know, treating mistreating people. You know, just mistreating people because they want to be the center of attention, and it doesn't matter how they get it to them. Um, they, the, like I said, overall the rules don't apply. But the thing, like I'm saying, you know, I worry. I worry. You know, one day I'm going to hear it, get that call. This is what's happened. And uh, you have to worry. Would they even care <laughs> if they, you know, how, how it's going to affect other people? You know, how is, yes, it's going to hurt them. They, they take those risks, crazy risks and everything. But what about how each and all, you know, everything would affect other people, like driving wrong. You know, just running through stop signs or stop lights because, hey, nobody's coming. That's the, their attitude. That's not the way it goes. Not here, at least. You know, so, oh, the speed limit is 35. Ah, I can go 55. Oh, I can go 70. That kind of mentality, yeah. They don't care what might happen to somebody who's right there or, or that, that somebody has the light. Mm -mm. So, you see what I'm saying? 
But anyway, how many of you, you know, know this type? The first time I ever actually heard one, you know, somebody tell me, you know, those that stop signs or, uh, you know, not stop signs, but speed limits are just suggestions. Oh my goodness. Like, you know, the ones like you go around the curb, any of them really, they, they feel they're just suggestions. They're not just suggestions. But they, you know, like if you're going around a, a curve and it says speed limit 30 or speed limit 15, you know, real narrow curve. Ah, that's just a suggestion. Keep going faster. People are behind you. They want to go faster. I don't care what people behind me want to go. Seriously, I never have care what people behind me want to go. They're not putting my life in danger because they want to go faster. Plain and simple. But that kind of thing is, I'm following the rules. To them, they, they feel like you're supposed to allow people like that to do things like that. Because you know why? They do it. You see what you see the difference? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Any time I come out here, allergies. Seriously, I'm gonna start coughing. Oh my goodness! Last night it was so bad. My I, I woke up like four, four thirty because my left eye felt like it was so dry, and it was itching and dry, and it wouldn't stop. I even you know cleaned it and everything. The other one wasn't bothered. Yeah. The allergies are weird. I've had them all my life. Bad allergies to so many things. But, yeah. Anyway. I always add a little bit of a vlog to it. <laughs> but do you know people like this? What, how have you responded to them? Do you ever get in the car with them again? Seriously. I worry about those, that type. I would rather drive. Thank you very much. <laughs> you are not driving me anywhere. And I might not even want them in the car with me. You know? I don't have a car. I have an SUV. <laughs> but still. Anyway. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. And uh, if you have, if you know somebody like that, leave a comment below. I'll talk to you all in another video.